fans, welcome to another edition of Boxing For Real. I'm your host, Don Omega. Iron Truth with me once again. And let's talk about the fights that just happened. We just saw James Lights Out Tony get robbed by um, the judges, basically, over Samuel the Nightmare, Nigerian Nightmare Peter. It, this was a horrible, horrible decision. Once again. I don't see how the hell they came to this decision. I really do not understand it. I scored the fight personally 118 to 109 for James Lights Out Tony. And I would have had it 118, 110, of course, with the point deduction for um, Peter. Peter. So, worst case I could see this fight was 117, 110 for, um, for James Tony. And I do not see how the hell these judges, how two of three judges had it, uh, had Peter winning at all. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, this, once again, they have fucked over James yeah, Tony. Once again, every judge that even had Tony winning, it was way too close, by the way. Like you said, it should have at the least been 117 to 110. And uh, if you don't take points away, then okay, 117, 111, nine rounds to three for James Tony. He clearly landed the more effective shots, uh, more punches overall, without a doubt, even though we didn't see Clearly. punch stats again. All you had to do was watch the yeah, fight. Yeah, exactly. Tony completely pissed, as he should be. Uh, I'm completely yeah, pissed. Yeah, me too. It's ridiculous. This is the second time this year he's been robbed. This guy, he should be the WBC and WBA champions. Uh, and NBA, NABF and IBA. IBA. <laughs> yeah, but he should definitely have the WBC and WBA titles. He beat Ruiz with one arm. He beat Raman uh, this past March, and now he's beaten Peter also, and it's just disgusting. And apparently he's not going to retire, which, thank goodness, and I hope he comes back. And it's just, just unfortunate he doesn't have power, yeah. because if he had power, these fuckers would be knocked out. And he's and not going to get decisions, as we've seen. We've clearly yeah. seen they're just refusing, because the boxing industry doesn't like James Tony, clearly. Exactly, because he says, Which is funny, because he's one of the two or three top boxers yeah. there is today. Exactly. Top pound-for-pound -pound boxers there is as far as um, skill. One of the smartest fighters ever, and uh, they don't like him because he doesn't go along with everybody else. He won't suck One of the dead. best, absolute best counter-punchers of all time. Yeah, they, no uh, doubt. And, um, Sickening. It is absolutely... I, I just... Uh, I want to go on and on about this, but we're not going to. <coughs> Tony, just regroup and... Um, Hopefully, hopefully, one of these faggots like the Klitschko's or someone will fight you. I really doubt it, but... Or one of those other maybe, champions. Maybe Monty Barrett will win. He'll give you yeah, a shot. He will. But, um, anyhow, moving on, Robert the Ghost Guerrero did get his work done. <coughs> he got a spectacular um, performance okay, against... Eric, Eric Aiken, it was actually stopped in the corner yeah. between rounds, and Aiken just, he was Aiken after eight rounds of action. He just couldn't go on, said he had a broken hand, we believe. Yeah, and that's what he said, and, and he quit he flat quit out. In the corner. And, um, you know, that was a great fight for Chico Guerrero. Morales had the nerve to actually criticize him for it, but, you know, at least Aiken did fight. Yeah. At least he did go on with the fight. Corrales uh, doesn't Corrales, even make it that far. Most you, of the time. You've pulled out of several fights, so you've quit several times before the bell even rang. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Exactly. And yeah, once the fights are on, yeah, once the bell has rung, you don't quit. You haven't quit so far. So far. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see <laughs> but um, yeah, and I don't agree with that. So anyhow. Robert the Ghost Guerrero looking great, said he wants to fight these guys. He was actually naming people at 130 yeah. that he wanted to fight, but um, he could, he should right now, I think, stay at 126 and clear out that division. I mean, yeah, he he's should. young, very young. He mentioned Marquez, Juan Manuel Marquez. I think Perfect. he beats him. Absolutely. Uh, Go ahead, get him, get Chris John. Yeah. Get um, all those guys. Uh, Eric Aiken beat Tim Austin, so this guy wasn't a complete nobody. I mean, he did knock out Tim Austin. Yeah, so he was a legitimate a fighter, yeah. contender. Yeah. But so. 
Anyhow, great night for Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Also, this weekend <coughs> we had Alan Green fighting, yep. and, and Alan Green won a yeah. He got decision. a ten round decision, and he it was uh, closer than expected, but he did clearly win. He knocked it, uh, Linton down in the uh, seventh round with a flurry of punches, and he pretty much controlled. He kind of stayed to the outside this time more than usual and just pot shot it and he showed his boxing skills, so we'll see where he goes. I was surprised he didn't get a knockout, yeah, I'll say could. that, but I'm um, still not going to hold it against no. him, of course, no. and he still Can't won a everybody else. very wide decision, and yeah. he's looking great at 168. He, he really could be, and really looks like he could be the future of 168, yeah. like, or already there, really. Yeah. He's, uh, Starting to, he's gonna be getting those big it's fights. Just a matter of next getting year. the fights now. <laughs> yeah. And also on yeah. that same card, Emmanuel Augustus uh, knocked out Courtney Burton in the eighth round with a body shot, which Wait. is how he should have gotten the first knock. Uh, in the third round. Yeah, in the uh, fourth round it fourth, was uh, in the first round, fight. Fourth round of the first. But uh, he got him with a body shot there, called a low blow. Doesn't That's matter scary. anymore. Uh, he got this one, got revenge, and Burton knocked out for the fourth straight time in a row in, and in if his you, career. And if you count the other one, which he <coughs> then, yeah, that's um, true. That's another knockout yeah. against him, truthfully. All of his losses have been by knockout. So and that's six now, really seven, but you know. Really good that um, Augustus won this. He and deserved Augustus, this win. It was yeah. great that he even got the rematch. Yeah, I was surprised. And, and got the rematch. Courtney Burton, time to pack it in. Really? I mean, why, why are you still at it? You're losing all these fights. You're done. Yeah. You yeah. got your 1 1 against Manfredi. That was it. And that was really your um, thing. That's I thought he was going to be somebody after that. Actually. I did too. I, thought I really did other. too. I, I liked him. Yep. And I was glad he beat Manfredi oh, yeah, afterwards. Me too. And then <laughs> nothing. No. Just, I don't know, but anyhow, time to retire. Uh, yeah, you got a tainted one against, a very, very tainted one against Emmanuel Augustus. It shouldn't be a win, but whatever. Time to retire. Also, this weekend, off TV, <coughs> the Peterson brothers both remained undefeated. Both, um, apparently, they're still winning very one-sidedly. Who knows, since we didn't see them. Anthony got the decision win. Got the decision. Lamont got the knockout win. Kind of switched their roles there. Lamont's known as the boxer more than Anthony, and Anthony more the puncher. But anyway, but we don't know. We don't really know much about their opponents. Right. So one might have fought the so, better opponent. Once again, thanks for not showing them, because we wouldn't want to see upcoming prospects. No, or anything. never. So you and know. And also. Um, wasn't the Glenn Johnson? Yeah, Clinton Woods upset Glenn Johnson this today, Saturday, and that was I was pretty surprised. I expect Johnson to beat him. They didn't now, didn't see the fight once no. again. They didn't show the fight here <laughs> yep, in the U.S. Of course, and I was hoping Johnson would win for the simple fact that he could have a rematch with Jones and Jones could get his revenge on him. But now that probably won't be happening. So. Nope, probably that, that was really my it, could, it could still happen, I could still see it. But it just won't mean as much now, I guess, but I'll take it. Still. I'll, I'll take yeah, it, that, no, I'll that, take it. That was my only interest in this fight, really. Yeah, mine too, Johnson absolutely win. mine too. And who knows, maybe Johnson will feel like he was robbed or something. Yeah, maybe he was, we didn't yeah, see the fight, know. who knows. Okay, five times, well... Thanks once again for tuning in, I'm your host, Don Omega, Iron Truth with me. Um, thank you for watching. Email us boxingforreal at gmail.com. Thank you to Miguel, the limo driver of Floyd Mayweather Jr. And thank you to Floyd Mayweather Jr. for hooking us up with tickets November 4th. We are going to the big show. Looking very forward to it. Thinking about it every day. Really looking forward to it. We're going to miss um, Briggs. <coughs> Why, uh, why I say that, uh, Thank you. Yeah, again. Thank you reason. once again, Mayweather <laughs> Floyd, for allowing us to miss that bullshit. Yeah. Which we would have got your pay-per-view anyhow, but yeah, no uh, doubt. anyhow.
Thank you once again. We really, really, really appreciate it. And thank you, fans, for all the emails, all the support. Oh my gosh, we've people have been emailing like crazy, yeah. messaging on YouTube and everything. Just everyone wants us back. We here's some, some more episodes for you. We probably put up a lot before you see this one, but whatever. And thanks for watching. See you later.